Hey there, Scientificos. How are my wonderful scientists doing today? All right, sounds like most of us are having a good day so far. That is always good to hear. How many of you were able to think about the question from yesterday? The second one, uh, what objects do you have to push to make them move? Oh, some of you came up with some great answers. I heard a scientist say swings, vacuums, skateboards, which you push with your foot. Those are really creative types of pushes. Speaking of which, I did some research last night that I thought would help us answer a question. And I learned that there's a scientific term or word for what we're studying this week. So I looked up our question, how can I make an object move? And the word force kept coming up. When I looked up that word, I found a sentence that helped me understand it. When one object makes another move, it exerts a force on it. So, let's observe me moving the car one more time, and let's identify what force I'm using on it. All right. Touch. Scientists, how did I force the car to move? I remember we answered this yesterday. See, yes, I forced the car by pushing it. We were able to answer this question pretty quickly. I, didn't, I don't feel like we were done though. So while I did my research last night, I took a break and decided to walk my dog to help me think. I live by a lot of hills and scientists, I am so grateful that I do. I was able to do research outside. Let me tell you what I saw. There was a car that had broken down on one of the steeper hills. Luckily, they were already parked, so they were already to the side of the road. And I was wondering, what were they going to do to move the car? I thought, since we are learning about forces or pushes, maybe they could push the car to the bottom of the hill. But then I thought that wasn't a good idea. Plus, what if they needed to go in the other direction? Pushing the car up the hill was completely out of the question. They would need a lot of people to push an object that heavy uphill. So my dog and I went to the park, and when we came back out to the street, I saw the solution to the problem, a tow truck. The truck hitched the car to the back and was able to drive up the hill so easily. Scientists, I observed a different kind of force occurring in real life. Huh, what's it called though? You know what the tow truck did? I guess it's the opposite of push. Yes, you're right, pull. Scientists, what are some other things that we can force by pulling? Ah, interesting. I didn't think of some of those things. You can pull on zippers, curtains, ooh, and sleds. I've been pulled on a sled before. It's really fun. But this got me thinking, scientists. How can I make my car move by pulling it? So I got a piece of cardboard out to test my new force. And I want to answer my question without looking it up. It's good to do our own research sometimes. So let me show you what I was testing out. So this is the hill. And this is the car. And I'm the tow truck. See, I pulled on the car, but I ran into the problem that I always have. I always have my hand on the car. It just doesn't feel as fun that way. How can I replicate or recreate what the tow truck does with my toy car? How can I pull my car to make it move? Do you have any answers, scientists? Oh, that's a good idea. I should test some different things out. I have another problem, though. It's frustrating having to hold up the cardboard hill and pull on the car. If I'm going to test out what happens, I should have one hand free to write notes and observations. Scientists, I have an idea. Why don't we plan out this test? Will you help me plan it out? Great. Let's make this an entry in our notebooks. I want to be able to remember all of this. So let's take them out and write today's date, March 2nd, 2021. Oh, and the page number. And you could copy me. So let's do this. Put up here, scientists. 
March 2nd. Page 23. Got it down? Great job. Now, I was thinking our title could be Forces, Pulls. Can you copy that down with me? Great, let's get to it. Forces, people. All right. Now, we should write down what we're going to plan for. So I said that I wanted to pull the car uphill. So we could write plan for a test to pull or force a car uphill. Sounds pretty scientific. Do you like it? OK, it tells us exactly what we're doing. And I added the word force because we need to remember what we're learning about. Copy it down with me. So plan to test a force pull on a toy car. So when we read this later, we know it's plan to test. It's a plan for a test. All right, we in scientists. Now, what should we draw? Ah, yes, a hill in the toy car. Scientists, are hills flat or slanted? Yes, they're slanted. So let's start with a diagonal or slanted line. Use a straight edge object to make the line if you have one. Scientists, if I were to make this in real life, like this cardboard ramp that I have, can it stay up on its own? No, you're right. My car will topple it right down. So we should plan to add something to make it stand up on its own. Well, hills usually have the flat part at the top and bottom. So maybe we could draw a flat line like this. Maybe another one down here. And then another one to hold it up. What do you think, scientists? You're right. We should label this hill. That's what it's missing. Great. Now draw the car on the hill, and we'll write force pull with an arrow pointing uphill. Follow along with me. So we're going to draw the car. It has the wheels. This is the body. And it's a muscle car. A little trunk, two windows. And then force pull. Muy bien, great. Now scientists, we should stop here because we're almost out of time. But I want to make sure you do one more thing. We're going to test out this plan on Thursday, but I need you to, uh, to do something in the meantime. Start collecting cardboard from around your house. You can use some boxes from old packages or deliveries, shoe boxes or paper towel rolls. Make sure to ask an adult if it's okay to use that item. They might need it or whatever is inside of it. So scientists, tomorrow we will learn about engineers. They are special types of scientists, and your task is to collect cardboard for Thursday. Also, think of ways that we can pull the car up our hill. All right, <laughs> enjoy the rest of the show, and I can't wait to learn with you tomorrow.